So I marked the Panther on the 6th of December, graduated with a 2-1 on, on my Masters of Science Marketing and Management course in the University of Bradford. And to be honest, I had a lot of emotions going into it, especially before the ceremony. I'm just, yeah, I'm just feeling a lot of emotions right now. Um, it just feels really real because it just feels really real. I was really, really excited for the ceremony, to be honest, because it was just a combination of the four or five years that I've been here studying. And I've been studying for 22 years of my life. And now it's all done. I'm not really planning to do a PhD course, so this could be the last time that I'm graduating. So I really wanted to go. And this is it, this is my last bow as a student. I know some people from my course and some friends didn't want to go to graduation because other friends didn't want to go or just didn't want to go in general. And people can make their own decisions, but I really wanted to go. Not because of the diploma, the piece of paper that's supposed to dictate my future, the piece of paper that's supposed to dictate the opportunities and the career that I get, but it was for myself because the feeling that you get, the rush of emotion that goes through your body on the day of graduation is just so immense. If you let your emotions just feel everything during the day, it's overpowering, it's nice, it's sad, it's... I don't know, I just felt so much emotion. I felt so much emotion. It's overwhelming. I think that university is a bubble, a fictitious bubble. It's almost unreal. It's extraordinary and it's not real. Yeah, it's sad to leave it all behind. But now it's the real world and this is the beginning of the rest of my life. I have to be ready. And that is a constant thought that I had during graduation that this is the beginning of the rest of my life. The responsibilities that I'm gonna have, the possibilities of what's next, the future, all of that goes through your head, as well as the past. It's mad. You're seeing your classmates who you've been with for a whole year, you've been with for the whole four years, five years, however many years you've been in university, and your family is there in an environment where they've never been before, in the university that you've been studying in. You just have to realise that that you deserve what you get. And I feel like I deserved what I got. I aimed for a first, but during midway through semester two, I was just like, yeah, let's aim for a 2-1. Um, I'm very proud of what I did. I'm very proud to do freelance work. I was a graphic designer for the university. I was an executive for a dance society in Fusion. I was doing YouTube. Thank you so much, Sabrina and Holly, for helping me out throughout my university life, just talking to me and giving me motivation. Thank you to my parents, thank you to my brother, my sister-in-law, my sister, people from the Philippines, my family there. Thank you so much to my brothers Mustafa and Abdullah. Like, you guys helped me out so much, honestly. Even when Mustafa, in semester three during the summer, would wake me up in the morning and was like, if you don't go to the library, you're a waste of space. And he said it, I know, because he cared. <laughs> And Abdullah, thank you so much for telling me to go to the library or go to the School of Management because I've got a meeting with my supervisor. Like, people that I've met in university, there's been temporary people in my life and there's also people that I'm going to cherish and treasure forever. And I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed to have the people that I have. And I'm just so upset that the people that I see every day, I'm not going to be able to see anymore every day. When I let people into my life, I love hard, so it's going to be so difficult when I have to say goodbye. Thank you to the big G. Thank you, God, for helping me along the way. It was a lot to handle. It was just a lot. I've, I have loved it. I have honestly loved university. If it's for you, it's for you. I want to say to the aspiring students and also the university students currently, Every single one of you 
to not lose the plot. What I mean by that is, we come to university for one plot, one purpose, and that is to graduate, to further ourselves in our lives. That is the plot. Don't go into university to just party, to just miss lecture, to study here and there, to chill out, to get out and live away from family. You're not there to do those things. You're there to study for your future. It's great to do all those other things. It's great to have fun. It's great to make friends. But do not lose the plot. Honestly, observing everyone in the university, like, some people really lose the plot. Some people really lose the source, the purpose of why they're, here, why they're there. Some people want to rule the university and rule societies and be a part of this, be a part of that, be a part of everything, don't go to lecture and be motivated in other things or get into friendships, relationships, situations where you're sucked in so hard that you don't study. Like, you came here to graduate with good grades. Work hard and aim for success because why would you want anything less? I declare this graduation ceremony open. I'm so excited. I'm so scared for the rest of my life. I'm honestly scared right now. The concept of adulthood, I'm not gonna lie. I did an extra year, a full year of masters because of academic purposes to further my life, but also because I loved university so much the past three years and I was so scared for the future. I was so scared of the inevitability of growing up and being an adult and the mystery behind it, the fact that I don't know what's going to happen for the rest of my life was just a lot for me to think about. So a master's course really helped me to hone what I want for my life. I got a graduate job, thank you to the big G, um, 34 days after I handed in my dissertation. Finding a job is hard. I was blessed. I'm, I'm so happy that I went to my graduation. I know at the end it was just a piece of paper and I walked for five seconds on stage, but it's not about that. So that's it guys, this has been Mark Zapanta. Thank you. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Mark Ramos Zapanta. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> he got his degree this time. <laughs> <laughs>